I'm hopeful because there exists a real opportunity, an opportunity to reach sustainable, equitable prosperity for all of humanity, an opportunity for the European Union to accelerate its, net, its race to net zero, decarbonize its industry, and build the economy of the future, and an opportunity for Africa to provide security and stability for all Africans while taking its rightful place in the 21st century economy. The Africa Climate Summit culminated in the Nairobi Declaration, which sets out the vision and a pathway for Africa to be a vital part of the global solution to the existential climate change challenge that we all face. The declaration captures the consensus of the African government. Hi, everyone. Welcome back once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. How is your Christmas preparation going on? <clears throat> Some of us, <laughs> we are just here. <laughs> we are just here, but I hope yours is going on well. This video is about Mr. Ruto, William Ruto, once again, the Kenya president in the parliament of um, EU. Wow. Congratulations to him. He was in the European Parliament to give them a speech about climate change. And the reason why I'm doing this video is about the conversation. All this video is about the conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, sit down and let me read for you what the people are saying about this particular speech that he gave in the European Parliament. But briefly, let me say, he was speaking about climate change. Mr. Ruto has been speaking about climate change for some time now. I don't know why. And I think those people who even started the climate change uh, campaign has even cooled down a bit on the climate change. America and the UK and the European Union. I haven't heard them speak much about it again. They dump everything on Mr. Ruto. You know, we had a summit, climate uh, change summit in Kenya that um, they were all cheering him up, clapping for him. And um, then he was invited to the European Union Parliament also to give a speech. I said, this man, that is he not tired, you know, to, to, to sit at home and help Kenya? This you can't be talking about climate change and be frying all over the world. You know, it's part of the pollution, is it? Well, I fry, but I fry commercial. I don't fry uh, this thing private. But you, you can't be talking climate change everywhere and then be frying tomorrow you are here, another day you are here, and here, yeah, yeah. Somebody asked a question. That's why I said this video is all about them. Conversation. Very interesting. <laughs> the first question, um, the first question, a uh, comment that somebody gave. This comment says that Africa leaders are the best when it comes to talking, but worse when discussing, making, and developing their own countries. 67 likes. So 67 people agree. Somebody also say Roto, the king of speeches. Yes, he's the king of speeches, especially when he holds that iPad, the English that comes out. Oh my goodness. Especially this speech that he gave. I don't understand some of the words. Maybe I should go and look for dictionary. And I have been seeing dictionary for a long time, for a long time now. So maybe I will look for one. This guy is becoming a favorite of the West. And that's why somebody is also comment. 28 likes. Let's make it 29 likes. Yes. What a powerful puppet. <laughs> somebody also said 40 likes. The fat white people are crappy for his speech. That is a call for concern for an Africa leader. Let me see if somebody replies. Exactly, somebody agree. He is begging to be recognized. They are loving every bit of it. 
spot on somebody also says wow mr roto doesn't get it no he doesn't get it no yet if you have all that arab uh, land sorry the workforce and all the other resources then it is our responsibility to take advantage of those to develop our economy if you ask someone from the outside to come and spend their resources their money they are not going to do it for free you may not like the outcome and that's how the world works do things you can do for yourself instead of creating decency 14 likes let's see if somebody reply no but 14 likes never be fool my africa brother that you can educate my wazungu on any subject they will appear to clap for you cheer you and even praise you but that is all wazungu despise african leaders who appear to know yet they don't mr wsr is on a is on a feel good mission in Europe. <laughs> oh, my throat is hurting, but I'm loving this. And that's why I want to share with you. Endless quest to soon his bigger than life ego. But back home, his performance is below average. What is the point of talking big out there? when the kenya people are suffering whose interest or priorities is president route to serving 30 likes how can you invite the very same people that enslave your country back anything they do will only be to support and empower themselves if they haven't done anything in 50 years what makes you think that they will help your country and the people of kenya today you need to create opportunities within africa why you are i mean why you why you are i don't get it i think you want to say why are we looking outside that's that's how i put it why are we looking outside of africa when we have all the resources in the world we have the manpower the intelligence we must unify ourselves if we are to to survive Nav said 14 likes roto is desperately trying to make a name for himself but he's got his work cut 12 like we have president that have talked the talk in the past but not walk the walk time for action we no longer want puppet nine likes talking is cheap but action speak louder than words let our action at home speak louder than our speeches in foreign land reindustrialization reindustrialization Reindustrialization, <laughs> Mr. Aliko Dakote is guiding superstars of Africa. Reindustrialization. Mm. Okay, that's James West. Zero, decarbonize its industry and build the economy of the future. And an opportunity for Africa to provide security and stability for all Africans while taking its rightful place in the 21st century economy. The Africa Climate Summit culminated in the Nairobi Declaration, which sets out the vision and a pathway for Africa to be a vital part of the global solution to the existential climate change challenge that we all face. The declaration captures the consensus of the African government leaders for climate positive growth. We have the world's biggest untapped renewable energy potential. 
the youngest and fastest growing workforce and human capital and relevant natural resources and assets. 60%, for example, of the world's best solar potential is in Africa. Trust rotor at your own risk. It's 20 lakhs. That was simple. Trust rotor at your own risk. 20 lakhs. After that speech, what new memorandum and reform have you signed or demand from the EU to start doing now to pay back what they exported Africa? We want action, not poetry. <laughs> poetry. <laughs> 18 lives. Yes, I thought of that. I said, mm. after all this speech, definitely they will give him something to sign. <laughs> and he will sign it because he went there. He will sign it. Okay. Having worked for foreigners, let's pray for Kenya's economy to grow. 20 lives. We Africans should be watchful of this guy called Roto. Personally, I'm begging to have second view on him. I think Wes is trying to use him to corner Africa the more. Nine likes. <laughs> I'm just sharing this video, like I said, just because of the comment section. <laughs> Please leave your own comment. I don't know what you think about these speeches. I will not play all the 30 minutes video. I will just play a bit for you. And um, I don't know. Something is going on in Kenya. Seriously, there is something going on in Kenya. This man has changed. I said it before. And um, yeah, he's loving it. He's loving the love and attention that they are giving him. Like somebody says, are you trying to teach these people what is happening about climate change? They know it already. They started it. So now you traveling around waste, wasting Kenya's uh, taxpayers' money that can build a road or factory, if you want factory, or buy fertilizer or do something. Yeah, just simple things in your country traveling around all these places, creating jobs abroad for Kenyans, the youth to travel abroad. People are talking. If you could only listen to what EU is saying about Africa behind closed doors, you will have no desire to stand on that podium. Unless, of course, for Europeans' interest. 19 lives. He knows, just like you and me knows, he knows. But he just fighting for himself, not the people of Africa. This man will tell you anything you want to hear. 11. Brilliant submission. Brilliant submission for life. He must talk for himself, not for Africa. Who sent him there? 80 likes. What is the first for? Sorry. What is the footsteps pushing your country citizens into unthinkable poverty? Eight likes. One thing is for sure whenever you see this column stand and craft for you, I can guarantee you that you are 100% wrong for yourself and for your people but 100% right for their interest. Zelensky was recently the superhero wherever he went because at that time, he was the puppy that has served their interest. It is not different for this African man. This person is talking about the Ukraine president when they stand a craft for him everywhere. Now they said, ah, enough. We are not supplying you anything anymore. <laughs> Fight for yourself. <laughs> oh, this video is just fun for me too. <laughs> I'm just like, Malema visited Kenya of recent. I enjoy his speech. <laughs> Somebody comment. And 25 like Malema visited Kenya of recent. 
and I enjoy his speech. Very powerful Pan-African statement. <laughs> Two lines. One speech can change anything. A speech is not evaluated by evaluated. A speech is not evaluated by this, but by its content. Yes, that is true. That's why when I listen to him or any other speakers, I just listen to the content and I listen to how the content will help Africa, how it will benefit Africa, and not the big English that comes out of all the amounts. All of them, they speak their big English. Some, like I said, can't even and We don't even know what they mean because most of the times they use terms that they know. Now, some of us don't even have time to be searching it. And even if you search it, you will be annoyed. So, he says, speech is not evaluated by this, but by its content. These are rich ideas. Let the critics of President Ruto know this. I love his ideas, and I know he means well for his content. As well as 60% of the remaining unused arable land in the world. These assets create an inherent ability for Africa to produce green from the start, cost competitive products and services, and to provide some of the highest quality carbon removal services anywhere in the world. When it comes to green economy, our reality is marked differently from that of Europe. Over 600 million Africans are deprived of access to energy, a fundamental prerequisite for dignified living and the provision of basic yet vital services like health and education. Adding to this is the fact that almost 1 billion Africans lack access to clean cooking. While the global narrative often emphasizes energy transition, for most I'm so sorry why I was enjoying reacting on the comments. My mic went off without knowing. But listen to what he just said. That makes a lot of people annoyed. Like one billion of Africans like cooking, a gas, like education, like hospital and the rest. I mean, whose fault? We always blame these people. We always blame them. But sometimes we have to take responsibility. I mean, to help ourselves, like one German guy made a video about it. Who are you waiting for to come and build it for you? I think the money traveling in and out, those things can help village after village. One trip after trip, village after village. It will help. I was enjoying this video was really fun for me. I hope you have enjoyed it. It was like 30 minutes video. I have to make it short. <laughs> I enjoy it so much. Please leave your comment. This is just a fun video. Leave your comment and be polite. Thank you. God bless you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>